Good evening. If you're a fan of electronic music, you likely know this band. It's Toronto group Crystal Castles. Well, this holiday weekend, Toronto Police confirmed its producer and songwriter is now being investigated by the Sex Crimes Unit. This after the band's lead singer posted a troubling and lengthy blog post online. Alice Glass's haunting performance style quickly making her a standout in Canada's crowded electronic music scene as lead singer of the electro rock duo Crystal Castles. <music> then, this past October, she lent her voice to a different cause altogether the growing Me Too movement and the chorus of female voices speaking out on sexual assault. In an online blog post, Glass alleges Crystal Castle's producer and songwriter Ethan Kath abused her, dating back to when she was 15 and he was 25. Over a period of many months, he gave me drugs and alcohol and had sex with me in an abandoned room and an apartment he managed, she wrote. It wasn't always consensual and he remained sober whenever we were together. In another part, she writes, he forced me to have sex with him or he said I wouldn't be allowed to be in the band anymore. Cass' real name is Claudio Palmieri. Toronto police confirmed today with City News he is under investigation by their sex crimes unit. They would not say what complaint launched their investigation or whether there are more than one complainant, as reported in other media. Cass' lawyer denied all allegations, saying in a statement Cass never, quote, engaged in acts with anyone under the age of consent and the accusers are spreading lies, quote, motivated by their own self-interest and financial gain. Uh, they were considered to be, uh, you know, one of the fresher sounds in, in that sort of music, especially Alice Glass, who had this uh, real interesting persona about her. The implosion of the group shocking to many Crystal Castle fans and those in the music industry. The Polaris Prize nominated duo was finally turning heads in Canada when Glass left the group in 2014. One of the interesting things about them is that they achieved most of their success in the UK and at least their initial success and uh, there were a lot of people who were when when a lot of people who followed the British music scene uh, discovered that Crystal Castles actually had their roots in, in Toronto they were very surprised. Last month Kath sued Glass and her boyfriend for defamation, breach of contract and conspiracy. Kath alleges Glass, his former girlfriend, made up the abuse allegations after she tried unsuccessfully to end the group and sue him for stealing her share of profits. Now, none of these allegations on either side have been proven in court. Now, Glass recently on Twitter thanked her fans for the support, saying she's gotten a lawyer and is back recording her solo record.